Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Phoenix, and today we are looking at foam craft. In this episode we are going to continue our research from our fam Famic Tinkering. And I think the first thing I would like to show you is this, Tom of Nor Knowledge Sharing. You have it unlocked immediately on the, from t uh, Time in Tinkering. So if you click that and you, you will get a tome of knowledge sharing. How it works is basically share all your research with the other players, as long as you're both on the server. So you use the scribing tools, your tomononicom, and three pieces of paper. So let me quickly show you that. And you have a tome of knowledge sharing. You take it out, and if somebody right clicks it, when you are on the server, whoa, if somebody right click it when you are on the server, they will get the no, uh, all the knowledge from your research. So you click it. Now the research is written and anyone can click click it down and get the same research as you have. So basically this is a better version of sharing your research. The only thing is sometimes on some servers or on some mod packs it will be disabled and it will be only creative item. Next thing I would like to show is Gazos Illumina. Illuminae. When you click it, you have to research it in the research table as normal. So let's go with that. Very easy. And you get your research done. So to make it in the crucible, you put your glass file in the crucible with R, Lux and Motus. And you will get Gazos Illuminae. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so how it works. You right click it on the floor with the file. As you can see, it lights the area and it will stay lit in up all the time. So you can light your entire base with it without actually using the light sources. And the only problem I have, I will show you it here. For some reason, it doesn't work that great underground. So if I go in here, I can right click it but it does nothing so i hope it's going to be fixed in the future versions of tomcraft yeah but generally speaking this is a great tool you can light the entire base if you want without actually worrying about uh, where to put light sources then you have gasos tenebri so let's go with that and this works exactly opposite to gasos uh, to Gazos Illuminae, Gazos Tenebri darkens the area. So let me show you. You have to have a Tenebri, Motus, and R to make it, and let's get one. And what it does, if you release it, as you can see, it creates the darkness. So if you go in here, your light level is now zero. And they do counteract each other. So you can actually go and get rid of it by just spamming this one around. And the next thing we have is Fume Dis Dispator. So let's click it. And you will get the research node. Let's put in the research table and let's do that. Okay, you can use the Fume Dispator to just remove the gases from your area. And how you do it? You take one gas of Tenebri, one gas of Illuminae, three Nether Quartz and three Smoky Nether Quartz, which is Nether Quartz and some Charcoal. So let me get this thing and we'll get it sorted. So you have Fume Dispenser and if you shift click it, you just remove all the gases from nearby area. So let me show you how it works at night time. You can just go around. Like we placed it here before. Shift click it and you can just remove it from everywhere. And it will remove the gases for you. And as you can see this area is slowly getting back to normal. And if you spam too much of it you will have to go around and 
shift click for quite a bit but eventually you will get rid of all of them and the good thing is this thing doesn't have any durability so you can just make one and keep it forever and as always scan the items guys because look how many aspects it gives you back way more than you used to research it so it's really important that you scan your items and the next thing on that tree we have hyper Ener energetic nitro so let's left click it and you get it immediately and you need a nitro you need a r ignis lux and potentia and what and it basically is like a torch you can carry on you so let me get one so as you can see as long as you have it in your inventory it just lies the area for you it doesn't matter where you have it in your inventory as long as you have it somewhere on your body it will light the area for you so without this it's dark with this thing it lights the area I can move it in here and it will still light the area. But the important thing to know is if you have any items that can carry other items, like this bag of holding, if you place it in your bar bag of holding, it will no longer work. So you actually have to have it somewhere. You can keep it like that and look at the light level, produces light level 15. Also, it will save you from placing torches if you want to go underground obviously the zombies will still spawn around you but at least you will have some sort of light in case you run out of torches and want to see where you're going so it's not a bad thing to have on you and the last thing on our list is Essentia Funeral so what it does, it allows you to store Essentia in the jars better because sometimes you need more Essentia you need, like when you have a jar like that you need more than one jar of uh, Ignis, for example. So you take your jar. Okay, so how it works. You place your jar, you place your hopper on top of it, then you place your essential funnel. You do it all with shift clicking, so you can actually place it. And then you have to have a full jar. So let's fill this jar up. And you place this full jar with the right click it will empty a jar and it will fill the one on the bottom then you just right click it again on the essential funnel and you get a jar back now you can refill it again and place it back and keep filling your jars the only problem you have is when you have a jar placed like that you actually cannot fill it with the files nor can you do it with the tubes so it's not as practical as you think it may be so yeah you can get a jar bag you can place it back but you actually cannot automate it you can't have like a stack of jars filling each other which is a bit shame and the last thing you have is a famig restorer so let's go with this research <laughs> Okay, and we have a Tamig Restorer. Okay, to make it you will have to use the Arcane Infusion Altar with a Iron Ingot, Gold Ingot, Diamond, Cobblestone, all good planks, some leather, some enchanted fabric, Famine Ingot, and Fanium Block. It will cost you some Fabrico, Instrumentum, Ordo, and Presentio. And what you use it for, you use it to repair your items and it will cost you Instrumentum Essentia. So let me show you how it works. Okay, how it works. You need your worded jar of Instrumentum. Then you connect it with the tubes and you connect it here to the back to this little thing here. And now if you come to it, you just right click it with the broken tool. So I have this broken shovel. And when you wear goggles of revealing, you will see how it works. So right click it. You see this presentio over it. It's not actually presentio, it's just the indicator of how much damage is being repaired. 
when it comes to zero the full is, the tool is fully repaired and you take it out and now you can see it is fully repaired tool so that way you can repair all your broken tools without actually spending anything other than mana beans for example so in my opinion it is really cool thing to have in your base just to repair the tools that you don't really want to get broken for example something with the high enchantment diamond peaks or uh, even better tomcraft tomcraft tools you can repair in it as well okay guys that's it in this episode we went through this tree from gazus illuminati gazus tenebri fume dispenser nitor essential funerals and family restore i hope you will start using them in your games and i think they are all cool really items to have in your base i hope you enjoyed the episode please don't forget to like subscribe and comment because that helps my channel a lot and i will see you guys next time